what is going on everyone and welcome back to more black desert so today is a new day it's actually daytime when i'm recording that's pretty rare anyway uh we got a few things to do we got to do our flooring daily as usual and got to pick up stuff i actually didn't play much yesterday i was just burnt it was easter and just had a lot of stuff to do visit family and whatnot but anyway um we are continuing on Got to catch up for yesterday. And, yeah. One thing I planned on starting soon was I wanted to try a Berserker. I don't think they're... Like, I don't think I'm going to re-roll to it, but I just want to kind of play it to see how it is. And plus that I have most of my gear ready. Um, so I have my Nuver and Kudum that luckily work for the Berserker. So I think I'll just, like swap over my kudum see how it goes and yeah so it's nighttime i do have some energy we're gonna do a quick night vendor and yeah see how that goes actually how much energy do i have total that looks like three five Okay, so most characters have at least three rolls. <clears throat> Alright, so we can do Night Vendor on all the characters a little bit later. But anyway. Gotta get the Florin thing first, because that one is really just easy money every day, so you should be doing the Florin event. Also, next week they're going to be adding a thing where you don't have to... Uh, use your negative karma all there's gonna be like a priest in all the major towns and That way you can downgrade your gear from plus 15 to 14 without having to use the uh, negative karma trick so That's good. It's gonna be in all the major towns, and I'm pretty excited for that mostly because it's a huge time saver All right, Let me see uh, Guild missions anything Oh yeah, Nightbender. That's what we came here for. But yeah, a little bit later. I kind of wanted to start up a Berserker. Well, I have a level 15 one. I just have to transfer gear. Blackstones. More Blackstones. Um, 64.5 mil is actually cheaper than Marketplace. However, I don't need it. So let's see, how much would I lose in tax? I think tax is like 15% if you have a value pack. So I don't know, I think it's like 14.5 total. So yeah, I would just lose money if I were to buy it and sell it. I don't even know what class. Sorceress? Ooh. Sharp! There's our energy down for today. We saw a Basilisk belt and a Talisman for Sorx. Go drop all this stuff off and we'll head to whatever we're doing now. Um What was I gonna do? Okay, I guess we could do some CP stuff. Where's my horse? Horse? I kind of wish the event wasn't in Florin because that's like no one really goes to Florin. That guy's name is Nightbender, please. Yeah, that's exactly how I feel too. All I want are sharps. 
like one day I feel like after I get my soft or like once I get gear soft cap I'm pretty sure technically it's easier to get tet accessories than a pen weapon but it's also like more expensive in a way because you could fail it a few more times but you will need less fail stacks so I kind of want to go for a pen dandy next after I get my ogre and a Tungrad Earring, but that's probably going to be a long way from now. That's just like my map to progression. So, where am I going? Where is this auto path? Or is this pathing me? daily. It's so tedious, but I gotta do it. It's just 10 minutes to get at least 5 million. Hopefully 5 million. And then reset. Actually, are there any bosses? I actually have no idea. I don't have the boss discord open right now. So if there's a boss up, I have no idea. There's a boss, but it's the one no one really goes to, <laughs> unfortunately. All right, uh, bring the golden goose egg. We actually haven't done our RBF either today. Um, yeah, let's start using our foods. Start our food rotation now. Need a golden egg. Where? Has anyone actually gotten anything good out of the golden egg besides, like, one of those necklaces that sell for about like 10 mil or black magic crystals. Has anyone gotten something super good? <sighs> Can I auto path? Let me see, where am I on the rankings? Four for gathering, farming, RBF. That's kind of cool. As much as I love RBF, actually, I don't. <clears throat> it's one of the most unbalanced things. Like, I don't even understand. They should add more options. I know not many people even do it, so adding a different option would just split the group. But. Man, that they need to rework RBF. And I think anyone who actually does it would agree. There's something about it that just needs to be re reworked. As long as I don't get cron stones again out of these golden eggs, I think we'll be fine. Where do people get Manos Ruby earrings? Like these things? Oh, to craft it? With what? 
I assume they're not worth making, but if you can make them, it's, I don't know. It's probably not worth it, but if you do, it's kind of easy money. I actually have no idea. All right, let's see. Golden egg time. You can get boss weapons and ogre, tungrad, crescent, all of, like accessories, black magic crystals. The worst thing you can get is black black stones. All right. Got an ancient weapon core and a sharp. Something tells me I should hold on to these. They will go up in price eventually. And then the sharps are always good. <coughs> so... It's been a while. What do we do now? We could head off to Calpion and do the contribution. Actually... Um... I have to go to Heidel because I wanted to do something there. I was cooking a little bit yesterday and have to buy products or just never turned them in. So I think we could get another contribution point. I feel like when I turn them in, I'll be at like 304 and a half, maybe. So you gotta go turn those in, but. Let me go to Velia or Olvia first. Not Olvia. Velia to drop off the stuff that I just got here. And then we'll head off to Heidel to turn into cooking byproducts. Actually, with the plus three cooks thingy. Uh, the cook's outfit. Man, it just saves so much time. It's actually really nice. But over time, eventually, I do want to get one of every uh, Zarka weapon for all the classes. But that's like, I don't know. Assuming all the weapons are like 200 mil in pre-order, obviously some are cheaper, some are more expensive, but let's just take an average of 200 mil for each of them. Uh, that would be like three bill just on Zarka weapons at base. I'm like, <laughs> so, and it's not like I would use them all at the same time. But it's just something to collect over time. Right now I think I have three Zarka weapons. I've seen all of them on a night vendor, but it was just not worth getting. So, obviously, Dark Knight have one, then Warrior, Warrior and Valk have the same one, have that for that, and Striker Mystic, the gauntlet. I think the next one I would get, if I were to get another Zarka, is probably the either Witch Wizard one, or the Berserker Axe. So if Zarka ever drops one, that's cool. I don't think the Mudster is cleared yet, but we can check it after we head off the past title. Oh my god, Horse, what are you doing? Kind of want to do some fail stacking in a little bit. Since I did have my plus three cooks clothes right now, I still have my plus two old one. I believe in using backups just in case. But, uh. We'll see. 
I'll just blow up the old um, life skill costumes I have. I still need to get an alchemy and farming to plus two, which is, I mean, it's not difficult to do. I just get it over time. I'll probably do it today if I wanted. Let me see. They should really put those under, like, the costumes under life tools. They're not technically armor. Well, I mean, they are technically, but... Traitor's clothes. Man, those don't seem worth at all. Wait, did someone sell a cook's clothes? No. Plus fours haven't even been sold. The fact that some people pre-order these for, like, really dumb prices kind of amazes me. Like, I'm pretty sure you can make one for cheaper from scratch. Like, getting a 30 stack is probably, I would say, about 40 mil. And then, like, a 40 stack is probably like 60 mil. I know the bank is right there, but I'm lazy. Alright, we're gonna turn in all the stuff to get contribution points, and hopefully we end up with 305 afterwards, maybe. Think we can end up with 305? But yeah, I did want to save up some points and connect um, Grana to start making like crates and stuff because i did want to learn how to do trading eventually well i mean it's like i know how to do it it's just i'm lazy and i just haven't set up anything Ooh, nice easy contribution all right let's head off to mudster see if it's still alive I think it might still be because not many people do it and it's during the middle of the week. So. Oh, yeah. How many of you saw the uh, Shepherd's Boy event? It's the thing that's going on now. I'm not sure if it's just for one week or another week after. But. It's like we protect the sheep from the wolves. I thought that was a really weird event. It gives you like cards and sharps and memory fragments, which is always good, but it's like one of the weirdest events. Whoever designed the uh, Halloween witch boss, that was a good one. I liked it. All right, let's just go check. All right, so there's the boss and there's no one there. Um, yeah, I'm not really surprised that no one does this boss. We do R RBF. All right, just, um, I'm rusty, haven't done RBF in a few days, so might get totally destroyed. Alrighty, we don't have 
<laughs> Our food rotation. It's not up. Oh my god, we're gonna lose. Look at all those people. They got a stack team, actually. Some of the top siege guild players. Something tells me this is not gonna work out. No. Get some of these people's buff bars. Uh, yeah, this is disgusting. We're getting farmed. I should probably just leave. Let's pick up the quest. Yeah, we're getting farmed in the base. If I die, we'll... I'll give it one more go, but I think if I die one more time, I'm just gonna back out of this one. Oh, are we actually pushing back? Picked off by a guy using a gilly. Yeah, if gillies are banned or like disabled in RBF, I think I would like this more. We're not really doing that great. I don't know what triggers that. I hate that. I don't know how to animation cancel the. Lunacy. Why does it do that? Like when she throws her sword up with the lunacy, what triggers that? Because it's only like half the time. Alright, so we're not really doing great. I don't think we're gonna win. Why is everyone using a ghillie? Like, all these people. Oh my god. Still in the belief that ghillie should be banned. They shouldn't even be in the game, but fortunately, you have to have one too. I don't know. You don't need one, but it's like, just having one. scattered. The group is organized. What? I think I got hit by everything. There's like eight of them, I'm dead. Team? Pretty difficult to RBF without full food buffs going on.
Ah, uh, Mystic. Ah, uh, like five of them. Why? Yeah, well, that's not happening today. Going again later when uh, I have full food buffs. I was checking our farms actually. I think I haven't done that in a while. Might be the boring part, but uh, eventually I do want to get Master One farming. It's just lazy. So, what I just grow is mostly strawberries because they grow slowly and you use them for alchemy stones, and I don't really check my farms that often, so I guess it works for me, but if anything, I'm probably losing money doing that. I have zero seeds, all right. So once I get 10 of them, I'll just uh, get the rest. Maybe we'll get a sharp. I think the sharp and hard event is still going on, so I should probably take advantage of that. I think if you let it sit at a weird growth rate or something, you get less. Yeah, if it's at, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I, if someone were to explain it to me, I'd understand it better. So I, I feel like if something is at zero, well, that's actually how it works. If one of these is at zero, or like, I'm not sure if it was growth at zero or something like that. Not growth, but like moist. Then you get like half the yield you would normally. Oh yeah, I should probably plant. I know this isn't the most optimal way to do it because they get tangled. But, um, I don't know. It's just farming to me. Get free strawberries. I think from what I've been told, if you, um, like, harvest your crops, like, three times a day, that's when you start profiting. But otherwise... If you're like once a day, you're like me, you lose money, which I knew I was going to do, lose money from farming, but the only reason I do it is mostly to get the stuff I need without having to sit on the market waiting for someone else to list it. So I think that's a good trade off for me. All right, so I have three.
Plus the byproducts you get from this, you can use it for like horse attempts. Some dude just got a Tet Ogre. I think I have 15 of them now. I could turn it in for another concentrated and memory fragment bundle. Alright, well anyway. That's it for now. I got one more garden, but you don't have to watch that. So with that said, see you guys later. Thanks for watching.